Hello everyone, this is a quick look at the LEGO Star Wars Pirate Snub Fighter set from The Mandalorian. Comes with 285 pieces and I built this live over on my Twitch channel. It cost me $35 US and if you see a view products link on the video then you can see, you can click on that to see some places where you can buy this. It comes with two minifigures, those being a pilot and the kind of pirate lieutenant vein. I figure we might as well just look at those up close right now. They have very good detailing. I like always the prints for these rebel helmets. This one's recolored to a gold color. Unfortunately, both of these red Nikto have identical heads. Uh, no difference between them whatsoever, which which is okay. But yeah, I would have preferred something a little bit different, especially for Vane in particular. You know, just the, the actor had a certain amount of uh, um, just projection, I guess, of, of personality that does not come through in this relatively generic face. But again, really good printing for that helmet especially, and good printing, I'd say, for the torsos. And these do have no alternate face. However, there is just the, the, the rolls, kind of the... the uh, wrinkles on the back now do note that on this headgear piece there are two forms of printing so it's a black piece but it also has dark brown and a suggestion of the skin tone on there although that's not a not an ideal match the build of the snub fighter is nothing to write home about but it is more complex than just a bunch of stacked up plates you know at first at first glance it looks like mostly just stacked plates with a tiny bit of studs on the side construction back here but it felt more interesting than that to me it's just not not, not a high-end build experience and that's perfectly fine it's it's intended to be a toy it's uh, it's marked for kids eight and up it does use some stickers as you can see for the fins here there are also a couple stickers used on the sides of the canopy and a couple stickers used Used up here at the front but I will definitely say that this strikes me in a much more positive way just looking at it than the official pictures from Lego because I think a lot of the pictures just didn't show it from good angles and they also tend to be using really wide angle photography or simulated wide angle renders in a lot of their mic uh, marketing materials these days which just doesn't do good justice to the to the material itself this thing has more presence uh, than I'd say was pictured and even though it's just a bunch of gray I think there's more contrast here than it appeared in the pictures and the little spinner video that that they do the black stands out you've got a little bit of silver here and this new color of trans black for the canopy it's actual trans black not trans brown like the thing that we co colloquially have always called or have well, many of us have called uh, trans black for the longest time. Let me just quickly show you a comparison. So this is this is tran trans brown here and if I put those side by side, I'll go ahead and pull it off. Yeah, there. Now you can see that this really is brown. This by comparison is slightly bluish and I believe if my eyes are not deceiving me, it is actually slightly bluish. It's not a very, very dark gray. So it's got a, just a little bit of bluish tinge, which I think is pretty close to the level of blue in light blue. Uh, I think dark blue is a excuse me, light gray. I think dark gray has a little bit less bluish tinge. I think the, the light gray that we have today, so-called light bluish gray is similar in hue to this this new new material or new color which which is good because it gives you that compatibility and it's it's interesting it's striking it's also striking to me just how how uh, deep and how thick the pigment is or the 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 tint is in this because when you look over here there's a section of this piece that's a little bit a little bit thinner and it's very clear <laughs> clear I didn't mean to do that that there's a lot less material there because you can see through it much more easily but I'm looking forward to just about everything being made in this color soon I think it's going to be really useful and really interesting and there you can see one of those stickers and the mirrored one on the other side while the canopy is off here's a look inside the cockpit and you know you can just open this up I mean there's plenty of room to hinge this all the way back so it doesn't get in the way you can easily put that figure in there we got the flight yoke there although the figure is not able to reach all the way forward to it but there's a nice little bonus here in the front a little storage compartment that's nice they didn't need to do that but there's an included extra shot for a a tile shooter there this does have two tile shooters on the front and a personal defense weapon as well a little sidearm that goes in there plus so here are the, the shooters up front they're nicely integrated down low these things look like they'll fall off easily but they don't 
you can actually kind of be rough with them. They don't fall off easily just because of the parts that are used and the build techniques that are used there. Uh, works out nicely. I don't like that green there. The blue doesn't bother me as much. I need to see if I can find a shot of the, the quote unquote real thing uh, uh, doing a full roll so we can see what it looks like from the underside if it has any weird colors down there. I don't think it did. But this can pop up and then there's an additional thing here. You can pull this out. Look at that. Inside is the thermal detonator. So you have two storage compartments in this. That's kind of deluxe. It's uh, going a little bit above and beyond. Definitely adds a little bit of value. Makes this a little bit more interesting. I think for everybody of, of all ages, especially kids, um, you know, we're really getting hands on with this. I think the engines are so simple, but they look nice and they're integrated well right up to the edge. Uh, this set does make use of some of the more recent wedge plates in Lego's inventory to good effect, as well as these half uh, two by two. They're actually one by two, but you know, half of a two by two round tile. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of good stuff here uh, for you know, for for what it is. Again, it doesn't look that great from the underside. It's interesting they got just a little bit of the brown in there. A lot of people want to see more brown on this, but I think I think this is fine. I think a bunch more brown might have done it a disservice or might have called for a whole lot of recolors of parts that just aren't available in that color just yet. These are the leftover parts and that ingot right there is not my mistake. It's Lego's mistake. They actually included an extra or a spare of something that they normally don't and I very very carefully made sure in the presence of a bunch of folks who are watching uh, while I was building this on Twitch uh, I made sure to check my inventory and make sure that every single ingot was accounted for that's supposed to exist on this thing this is the sticker sheet which is not bad the price of this again is 35 dollars US it's 35 euros 30 pounds UK and I believe it's 45 dollars Canadian um I Look at this for, it's a little bit bigger than like an eight wide Speed Champions car. Overall, uh, man, it's, it's actually pretty close when you consider density and everything. I kind of feel like this should cost the same as a Speed Champions car with one figure. But then again, I think Speed Champions cars should cost no more than $20. But hey, throw in another figure. Also, we can do the 25 easily. And yeah, then we can we can stretch that out just a little bit to 30. So I I, I could see this selling. I, I could see this reasonably selling for 30. I'd rather it be a little bit cheaper than that, but 30 is about where I'm at, $30 US. And it actually retails for 35. So we're we're close. We're in the range. As usual, you know, Lego's pushing things a little bit, just relative to my own personal subjective view on on value and where things should be but this at least is within the range and it's definitely better than the marketing photos made it look at least in my opinion it looks better feels better plays well the extra little little com compartments are nice uh, most importantly to me it just looks nice and yeah, it does have two figures I, yeah i'm i'm okay with the value on this one for a change which feels good for a star wars thing thank you very much for watching hope you enjoy this and i will talk to you again soon bye for now